pretty much the steel that I'm going to be using to fabricate the engine uh, brackets. So they are blue. I do intend to change the color unless JDM Leno wants to keep the same color. But yeah, they're about uh, a quarter inch thick and they're just right to get the job done. All right, guys, so this is pretty much my next step. That's pretty much the end result of that. That's one side. Now I have to flip the engine over and I'm gonna do the other side. On this step, you have to be a little creative, but this is how I found the bolt hole orientation and it ended up working for me. All right guys, so this is pretty much a template of the next mount that I'm gonna do. So yeah, this is just to give you an idea of what it looks like. So this is the board that I use to mock up for the, um, the plate that goes up against the engine on the other side. I use hardboard instead of cardboard this time because it's a lot sturdier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw it out on the metal and then I'm gonna cut it out with the uh, cutoff wheel. Alright guys, so what I'm pretty much showing you here is that I drilled out a couple of holes in the corners because the cutoff wheel isn't able to make any sharp turns or whatever and I don't want to cut into this area here trying to um, draw this line here. So I figured I'd just drill some holes in these corners and then cut through. As you see here, this isn't what I wanted to do pretty much. So this is pretty much my end result from the template to steel. I still have to round off these corners, um, work this a little bit and round the corner here, and then clean this up a little bit. But yeah, that's pretty much that. So now the next step is to drill the hole. All right guys, so that's pretty much that. Got the holes drilled out. Now I'm gonna go to the grinder and give it a little bit of character as I like to call it. So I'm gonna round off these edges. Uh, there was a hole here. I don't think I'm gonna use that one. I don't think it needs it. Uh, then again, I don't know. I'm very indecisive. So, I mean, for the extra support and extra rigidity, um, I mean, these are enough. This is probably overkill. But anyway, I might just add it in there later. But for now, I have three holes. Now what I'm gonna do is take this sand and disc, and I'm gonna clean up this area here to give it a nicer finish. And then also to see if I can get in here a little better to give this a nice finish as well. And then also I'm gonna give this a nice finish as well here, just like I have here. Sanding this pretty much just gives it that mirror finish. And I clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna work this area here. Not now, I'm gonna go fit it up on the engine in the meantime. I work this area here. Um, this didn't come out the way I liked. I'll probably cut it. I don't know. I'll figure something out to make it look a little bit more presentable. And as you see here, I did drill out the hole, so I made up my mind. All right, so I pretty much came to fit this mount. Or this, uh, yeah, this rubber mount. These are pretty much twin cam mounts. On this bracket, and there's pretty much a little lip that keeps it from sitting flush. So I got to knock that down a little bit, flatten it out in order to use these um, rubber mounts. All right, so that's the first one in place. It's pretty much in there secure and tight and snug. Not going anywhere. Then I also had to bend these tabs up just a little bit. Now I'm going to mount it in place. There's the nut and washer. I'm going to put it in place and then tighten it up and then let you see how it looks from there. All 
All right, guys, now it's in place, so now it's time to proceed to the next step. Here, I'm pretty much showing you that I had to re-secure the engine with one hook. And then I also had to use a floor jack in order to level it out to get it to sit in there properly. And voila, there she sits. All right, guys, so I pretty much found the center line. And what I did was I took the crank bolt and used that as my reference point. Now what I did was I measured from one end to the other end of the chassis rails to find the center point. So after I marked the center point, I shimmyed the engine over into the spot. And uh, yeah, that was pretty much that. So this is how it's gonna sit in there. As you see, it's not too high and it's not too low. And then also another thing as well, I pushed it back as far as possible because uh, for those that don't know, you have to keep a certain amount of space in between the uh, the front cover and uh, the radiator or whatever. So you won't have overheating issues pretty much. I'm pretty much showing you the plate that goes up against the rubber mount. This is three by three, I believe. And as you see there, I found the center mark and I utilized hardboard to make this as well. This is the piece that I cut out to make the sides for the bracket. All right guys, so this is pretty much what I did here. So this is the plate that goes up against the engine. This is the plate that goes up against the um, rubber mount. So the rubber mount is oriented like so, goes to there. And then this is the part that goes to the chassis or the cross member goes across so what I pretty much did was took a piece of cardboard placed it along the side here and then on the other side I just drew my line from here and then a line there so pretty much on the other side um, I drew this out like so and that's pretty much how I made my template for the side. So from an overview point, it would look like so. So this is the side that goes up against the engine. This is the side that goes up against the rubber mount. And they connect it like so. So the first thing you want to find is your bolt hole orientation and after you get the bolt hole orientation um, for the plate that goes up against the engine, the next thing to do is fabricate it and then place it up against the engine like I did. And then the next plate you want to make is the one that goes up against the rubber mount, which for me went like so. Make this bracket pretty much before you put the engine in because it's a lot easier to find outside of the, the engine bay. Then once you put the engine in, you make this and decide what size you want it to be. Mine was three by three, I believe it was. So it was three by three. And then after that, I made the sides and they connected up like so. And then you have it, the finished product. That was one side. So this is pretty much to give you an idea of what it looks like. The illustration wasn't drawn exactly how the mount looks, but it's just to give you a basic idea. All right guys, so it's pretty much time to get started on engine mount number two. Now it's time to fab up the base that goes up against the rubber mount.
Now keep in mind guys, we already fabbed up the plate that goes up against the engine, which is what I'm showing you here. So the next thing to do is to do the plate that goes up against the rubber mount. With the uh, hardboard, I fabricated this here as well. So that goes there like that. But the length that's on this, I'm going to change it up. I want it to be a little bit longer. So this is three by four. I'm going to make it three by six instead. This is my three by six. I transferred the, um, the dot or the hole over to the, uh, from the template to the metal. And this is four inches wide. I still have to cut it down to a three. So as you see, there's a mark there. So I just got to cut that across and then I'm good to go with that. Now what I'm going to do. All right, so this is pretty much how the side looks. So now it's time to fabricate on the side. Just take my hard board and uh, cut it out. All right, guys, so now to make the transition from the template to steel. All right, guys, so I wanted to point something out to you. So as I make the transition from the template to the steel, this edge here is the edge that sits up against the plate that goes on, uh, that's mounted up against the engine, and it's flush. So I want it to sit flush and smooth up against that plate. So that's why I use this edge here that's uh, the manufactured edge. Guys, that's pretty much it. Two down, none to go. From template to steel. So now I got that uh, set up. What I'm gonna do now is tack weld it in place, take it back over to the engine bay, and uh, test fit it, and see what happens from there. So I'll give you guys an update. All right guys, so these are the pieces all put together. So I did all the two sides. This is one side, this is the other side here. This is the plate that goes up against the, um, the engine mount or the rubber mount. And then this is the plate that goes up against the engine itself. As you saw before, it sits about here. Yes, it is pretty bulky, but it gets the job done. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and weld it up. I don't think you guys need to see that or see what the finished product looks like. But pretty much this is just to give you an idea of how I fabricated the engine mounts and how it can probably give you some ideas to fabricate the engine mounts too. Now, just because you see this, you know, this sharp edge here and how that is, I mean, it doesn't have to stay like that. I can add some personality to it as I like to call it and make it look, at a, li uh, make it look a little bit more presentable. All right, guys, it's a good thing I didn't weld this up because right when I was about to finish, JDM Leno came through and suggested that we switch things up. So we went with an aluminum mount, which I like it. It looks a lot cleaner. So this is the passenger side. Uh, we can't see the driver's side too much from here, but, but anyway, this is the passenger side. So we went from this clunkiness here and thickness and that's heavy as well too to this this is a lot lighter all right guys so thanks for watching and uh on the next episode we're going to be talking about the transmission so make sure you hit the notification bell and uh stay around for that till next time your hair grows by itself your heart beats by itself Breathe pretty much by itself. You don't have voluntary control of these things. So we say it happens on things. You try to breathe with a real heart. You find you get balled up. Not a little girl.